Now we're ready. Uh, thank you, Council, for hearing me. Uh, I'm a resident of Timber Grove Manor. We're 1,896 homes with Laser Brook next to us at 668. Um, that's about 2,564 homes. Uh, HCAD value is six, seven, eight hundred million dollars. I'm here to discuss new development at 2525 Minimax Street. Our neighborhood is built in the 50s. Infrastructure has never been upgraded or improved. And we have pictures for all the evidence. Anybody want to see all the drawings, stormwater drawings, everything I have here. We're at Timber Grove. We're opposite of, of Stanley Park. They're here. We're here. Uh, we bring you facts. We bring you data. I can drown you in data. Um, this development at uh, 25, 25 and a half Minimax is 34 acres. Right now, it's dirt, so it absorbs storm runoff. The Astrodome is nine acres. So if you can envision four Astrodomes next to your neighborhood, stormwater runoff, sewer, uh, traffic, and fire water protection pressure. Our infrastructure is already full. Thank you, sir. Your time is up. Let me respond for one moment. Um, you, the, uh, the mayor issued a comment which said that um, that a notice was issued um, by Public Works um, in response to a 311 service request, and the notice was to stop all work until the proper permits were obtained. So all work has been shut down. Councilmember Christie? I'm going to give you another 30 seconds. But council members, remember, this is 600, 1,890 homes, and the, the, the capacity is not there. It cannot take um, the amount coming off of 36 acres. So um, give me 30 seconds of my time to, to make that a little bit more explanatory. Would you, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Now, we were the ones to stop red tag. They brought in thousands of yards of dirt fill. They raised the property three or four feet, which is actually legal after I talked to all the city public works director. And we have lines of communication. They're doing a great job over there, but they don't have enough tools in their toolbox to fight these developers. And we're just asking to make sure that the mayor, when he comes back, that we're asking for the Rice Institute, Mr. Baker, uh, Jim Blackburn, or A&M, or someone third party to review this before it's approved and it's a cumulative effect you know it's not only this development but future concrete acres <clears throat> that's overloading our infrastructure and it's everywhere in the city thank you as i said it's been red tacked and the work has stopped but council member gallegos thank you mayor Pertem. Hello, Johns. Good seeing you. Yes, sir. Former East Ender. I know that we worked on projects in the past also, and uh, glad to see that you're here. And if you need more time, you can have the rest of my time. Thank you. Okay. So this this project, back to four astrodomes of concrete, It's our concern is the stormwater retention. I've got all the drawings and prints of all our main storm lines, and they're full. Uh, I, I did 42 years with a large petrochemical company. I understand hydraulics. But... We need someone to shepherd our project to help us uh, to ensure that this project does not damage the golden goose. We're the golden goose. We pay a lot of taxes. We have not had any infrastructure since the 50s. I don't know anybody who's driving a 1950 Ford here to council, but infrastructure is old, it's tired, it's overloaded. So we, we're just asking for your help. That's it. Thank you. And if you would, I'm sorry, Council, your Council, Council um, Mr. Zavala, if you would speak to Monica Vasquez. Monica, are you? Okay, Monica, if you would come around, um, she'll come in that, those doors over there. She's with Public Works, and if you sit down with her, uh, she'll address your concerns. Right now, it's stopped. Thank you. We stopped. Okay, uh, Alphabet.